Yesterday we were at Busch Gardens, Hallow Scream. Today we are at King's Dominion, Halloween Haunts, and it is opening night. So as we're walking in, they're handing these out, which is definitely representative of you know the climate right now as far as how people are behaving at parks. I guess things have gotten really, really bad that they feel the need to hand these out. Then the other big thing is after 6 p.m. you can't bring in a bag, so he is holding up the maximum size bag that you can bring into the park. So no backpacks or anything. And now that we're actually in the park, one more big protocol we'll mention, no re-entry after 7 p.m. But overall, the front entrance is looking really great. I love that you just have lots of bones and skulls and everything surrounding that big entrance sign. And that looks like Winterfest stuff. We got this dude driving a mortuary carriage. First up, before we do any of the houses, we have a new change. Mac Shack is now Taco Shack. The menu includes either three chicken tacos or three pork tacos. That's what they look like. And here they are, serving them up for people. All right, and here's our tacos afterwards. Let's see how they are. Tacos were good. We're now standing here waiting for blood rain to start. This is how they kick off on, and there is an insane amount of people here watching. All the characters are going to come right through here up on stage. It should be pretty cool. Here they come. Welcome one and all to my triumphant ritual sacrifice. Sorry. I mean celebration. We must invite one of our new realms to the stage this evening from 21 to show them how we do things here in my dominion. It is an absolute madhouse in here, but we got through the crowds, we watched the opening ceremony. Uh, it was wonderful. I did not expect them to light someone on fire. I was also <laughs> not expecting someone to be on fire. So, or to fall off of them. Yeah, they just like tumbled down. So it was I, fun, it was cool, it was really well done. It was cool, yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. I mean, I love how they just like bring out all the monsters all at once. Um, oh, it's a freaking spectacle. It's, yeah, and it's then, really fun now. And then they unleash them into the crowd, which is great. So we're heading to our first maze of the night, which is the brand new maze. I believe it's called 21 or something like that. What's 9 plus 10? 21. What's 9 plus 10? 21. Look, they have a bunch of these facades in the Planet Snoopy area. I think they do like a kids trick-or-treating event during the day. So I'm guessing this is where all the kids can like line up and go door to door to get candy. I love the skeletons. <laughs> That's so fun. So King's Dominion has six houses this year. That is one more than last year. And clearly people are excited to see what they have in store because this is the line for house number one and it just turned seven o'clock. So why do they have a house called 19? How many times are we gonna make that joke? I really just wanna go in and it's just that guy staying there going, what's nine plus 10? 21. I'd be perfectly fine with having waited 45 minutes for that. 21. 21 had no references to the meme, uh, but it did have references to a bunch of different fears that different humans have. Some of them I was like, what humans have? Yeah, like mannequins? I was like, they were, but they that's were, real? Yeah, naked mannequins. So I'm like, is that supposed to be fear of like being naked in public or like, or seeing naked people? I don't know. I don't think anyone it's has that. Very though. strange. Um, it was a mishmash of like, you go from different rooms, then there'd just be a bunch of like completely random. Uh, props and, and scenes, but none of it felt finished. Yeah, I Which don't think it's done yet. I get because it's opening weekend and supply chain, I mean, stuff happens. There weren't um, that many people in there and there was like a lot of empty space. Like you think about, yeah. okay, recently we did that video on Condemn that we toured at Virginia's for Coastal Lovers. The amount of like intricate detail in and that, that maze is incredible. Amazing. This house was not up to the usual standard of the rest of them. Trick or treat, uh, blood on the bayou, all these houses are like amazing and this one not wasn't good. even close. I think there's more to come. Yes, but as of right now, if you have to prioritize which mazes to do, that. leave that one for probably last. Especially since we waited like 45 minutes for it and I think we both kind of walked out and we're like, Really? That, like, that's it? We got a brand new scare zone in Jungle Expedition. A ton of props out here. This is not only for the scare zone though, this is also for a show that they have going on here called The Convergence, which we're gonna check out in a bit. Look at all the stuff they have set up. Ooh. <laughs> the 
the show's starting, all the scare actors are going crazy. They're losing their minds. Yeah, shout out to all the scare actors here. No, they are awesome over here. And I love, love, love that they stuck with the theme of Jungle Expedition. They've even themed their scare zones to match the land. It totally works. We're entering Cleaver Brothers Carnival, a true classic here at King's Dominion Haunt. The only thing scarier than clowns are really tall clowns. <laughs> Is this a real fortune teller? Yeah. Or is it like an actual like pay money and get your fortune read? It's, it's probably like you don't pay extra money to get your fortune read. I think she's a scare actor. Okay. <laughs> but hey, they had a show over there and it was, what'd you call it? <laughs> it? It was like if you took like a, like three people out of Nightmare Fuel that just know how to dance, like that's pretty much it. <laughs> what really is Halloween haunt without half naked people anymore? I swear I mean, that's half the reason. The staple of Halloween is like people that are not really wearing clothes. <laughs> It is a literal zoo here. This is the end of the line for Blood on the Bayou. And it's and all the way over that, there. That, that maze is way down there. Sheesh. It's really busy. Oh my gosh. We're going to try and get in line for Grimwoods. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So last year, this is one of the weaker mazes because it was brand new. It was a really cool idea we're going with the Grim Fairy Tales. It's on the old Dinosaurs Alive path, but it I was... I think they beefed it up this year, that's what we heard. They have, yeah, because it was the sets were kind of few and far between last year, so supposedly this is going to feel like a whole new maze. So let's see how it is. All right, so we just got out of Grimwoods, and atmosphere-wise, it's, I mean, it's fantastic. It's like, so good. The way that they have it literally through the woods, it is so dark, very cool lighting, uh, fog. Great it, costumes. Yes, costumes are great. So they reordered a couple things. So the three fairy tales are Red Riding Hood, and then Hansel and Gretel, which used to be at the end. Now it's in the middle, and then uh, Sleeping Beauty or uh, uh, Briar Rose, as they say in this one. So uh, very cool props everywhere. Um, I just think it needs more scare actors. Yeah, it is. It is definitely lacking as far as numbers. I can't talk anymore because Quinn's staring at us. Hey, what do you think? I loved it. Did you see that set at the end? It was, it was so huge. Cool. Yeah, they had this big like castle thing, and Maleficent was in it. It was awesome. Maleficent it was very, very cool. Looked awesome. I love this. Wow, skeleton horse-drawn carriage. And it's a jack-o'-lantern. Let's see who we can find. Hey, did no. I scare you? Did I Actually, a little bit. So are you off to see the wizard? <laughs> oh. Next scare zone. We're here behind the Eiffel Tower. All these cool statues everywhere. <laughs> this grave has Wiemann on it. Matt Wiemann used to be the CEO of Cedar Fair. And now he is buried here. Yeah, I, gu I guess. Is that is that Matt Wiemann? <laughs> what? <laughs> that man is holding a leg. If that thing moved, I would die. It's pretty freaky looking. I have an irrational fear when I'm at haunts. That the things that are clearly not real are just gonna come alive. It doesn't really work like and they that. Attack me. I'm more scared of things like this than the actual people. Next up was Blood on the Bayou. Definitely one of the strongest houses here. Like, oh, I think it's so awesome. I mean, you know, so Grimwoods is atmospheric. Twenty One is not done yet. Uh, <laughs> this, this is a proper house. Oh, this yeah. is fantastic. I the think it could detail. be honestly sitting at Horror Nights. Yeah, the only that thing good. that really separates is the Horror Nights ones are going to be a, like a lot longer, you know? Yes, I mean, yes. Uh, but like they, they have a good budget for this attraction. They like stock up everything. Everywhere you look, there's stuff. There's but, uh, tons of monsters in there. Speaking of budget, what's going on with this? Yeah, uh, so that's the one thing that was interesting is they took our photo beforehand and that's like what took up like half the line. And they're like, smile, and then they're like, you can buy the photo. I'm like, do people still do this? Comment below, have you ever bought a photo? From, like, a, I, you know what? Like, I have bought an on-ride photo. I bought an on-ride photo well, like On-ride photos are like a little different. This is like from a maze. I'm like, I, I just don't yeah. get the appeal. I'm like, do people still do this? Spend like $15 when like cell phones, like everyone could just do that? Like, I don't know. I just know everyone and everywhere is fairly tight on cash right now. That's like an odd way to like direct your budget. It's just like, like I see how, it on this. like back there they probably had 
six to eight people staffed just to take people's photos. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe that's like, I, I just feel like they could be putting those people to like manage like other stuff Maybe that'd be more beneficial. Maybe they a of photos. Maybe. <laughs> I guess. How much you be tonight? I'm doing excellent. <laughs> it's just chase that kid. I hope you got that on video. Ooh, oh, I did. And that does it for our evening here at King's Dominion Halloween Haunt opening weekend. I'm really glad this was not our first time here because we did like nothing. <laughs> yeah, definitely buyers beware if you guys come here on a weekend. Don't expect to get through everything if you just come for Haunt. Honestly, like come this during is, the day and ride the coaster. If you're coming here on a Saturday during Haunt, it's probably worth it for you to invest in like a fast lane yeah. or something. Especially if you're doing rides. We did no rides today. Not we even did, I-305. I know. We did not even three three haunted houses that and they have six the crowds were way higher than i think either of us expected oh yeah but uh, the, the mazes that we didn't get the highlight like trick or treat condemned corn they're Spider, great they're, they're great. all fantastic yeah absolutely so definitely try to make sure you get to all our priorities were trying out the new stuff which they redid some of grimwoods and obviously they had the new one of 21 um so yeah i mean take you know of some of the things that we said about it if you're trying to prioritize uh which houses to do but maybe by the time you are coming here for yourself 21 will be done. So yeah. maybe yeah. just want to fight. Absolutely. And even next year, I'm really curious how that house will be doing. Because I, I, I imagine that it will be one that gets better over time. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I, I still think this is a fantastic event overall. Uh, oh, it's the so much scare, fun. The scare zones are really, really good. Yeah, they um, are very good. Yeah, a, a lot of really talented scare actors I've I seen throughout. I think it's throughout. on par with uh, Bush Tampa and their, yeah, their yeah, scare yeah. zones. Yeah, I'd, I definitely agree. So, uh, overall, if you get the chance to come out to Kingsman Halloween Haunt, I absolutely recommend it. Especially because it's not even like a special ticketed event. Like, if yeah. you're a, a Kingsman pass holder or a Cedar Fair pass holder, you can just come. Exactly. It's yeah. It's included. Nothing extra for the mazes. So, definitely worth it. And Scarewinds was in for a lot of people, and that is like nowhere near as good. Just saying. <laughs> So, all right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next time.